for us, really. In North Devon, the May Day bank holiday weekend normally means back-to-back -back games for Linton and Lynmouth Cricket Club. But as gale force winds and howling rain battered the clubhouse, the match against Newton Tracy looked in doubt. As a rule down here, if it really pours with rain in the morning and clears up by 12-ish, because of the drainage system, it's just a natural drainage system built on rocks mainly, um, you'll always get a game in the afternoon. But its rural location doesn't always help the club. Well, down here, um, we get problems with moles. We have snakes in the bracken, um, which deters some of our players from going in and fetching the ball when it goes in there. We'd like to have sight screens up, um, but we have to respect the parks so that we can all get on in what is a wonderful valley, really. Situated in Exmoor National Park, Linton and Lynmouth's coastal positioning lends itself to spectacular views, but with it comes its own brand of problems. Well, we have the, the, the coastal fog that rolls in periodically and, and um, will influence a game in that suddenly the, the whole of the square disappears from, from view from the pavilion and the game will carry on despite this. I mean, at the odd occasion, the batsman has been caught out on the boundary, forgetting that there's a deep square leg because he's been lost in the mist, which makes it for a very exciting game of cricket. But a bit of mist doesn't put off the thousands of tourists who flock here from across the country. Uh, we're from Southampton and we've just come for the weekend. Beautiful, beautiful. The hill isn't it? Well, unbelievable. It's a lovely coastline, isn't it? Yeah, when you get to see the mess like. We've just come down because it's been wet everywhere, so we thought we'd come down here for a change. Just enjoying being out of the city. Apart from the mist and the rain, it's absolutely lovely. And it's always great to come here for an ice cream, or coffee, whatever. And, uh, it was good for that. During the summer, the town's population doubles as holidaymakers come to the area, but fears are growing as to where the next generation of cricketers will come from. The main problem for us is that because this is a popular area to come for holidays, for people to have second homes, um, and because there are very tight planning restrictions on new homes, it's difficult for young families to set up here. So in the short term, you know, we, we've got a very, very good future. We have people driving, you know, 50 miles on a Sunday in the hope that they'll get a game. But in the long term, it is a real concern. You know, in 20 years from now, you know, I do, I do worry about how many kids we're going to have playing for us. And the club treasurer also has concerns. All clubs which run teams, whatever sport, have financial difficulties these days, whether it be cricket, soccer, rugby, and we're all, all short of money and looking for money. We are probably luckier than most that we have a very generous patron who um, some years ago gave us £100,000 for the perpetuity of cricket in the Valley of Rocks. But uh, we've got to keep going. I, I, get, I badger people all the time, you know, well, every subs. It's very hard getting subs, getting money out of people with the costs of gear and equipment, bats, pads, and what have you, all cost money, and each, way, each year the price goes up. So we've got to keep going, we've got to keep our in coming in, and we've got to make the players realise that, uh, you know, they've got to contribute to it. Back at the ground, first-team captain Gary Jones needs to make a decision. Doesn't look like there's going to be much cricket here today, so... I think I'm going to definitely have to call it off, unfortunately. But an abandoned game is good news for the local pub as the boys take the chance to get together off the pitch. And despite all the issues that affect the club, it's clear why they play for Linton and Lee. It's just nice to come and play with a bunch of lads that are quite laid back and the ground is beautiful, the area is lovely, so it's just nice to come down. So, match abandoned on uh, Exmoor there, you can see why. Now, just to remind you, we tend to allocate these clubs to individuals. Beefy's got Aberdeen, you've got Linton, mm -hmm. and K 
cat food. We've given that to NASA. NASA, NASA's got cat food. In He's his, not here today. NASA. In his absence today, but yeah. uh, he'll be a bit disappointed the way Catford played this weekend. Well, he well, needs to shake week. him up a bit. They're saying he's the. Should man. we send him round? Yeah, he's the man to do it. Bit of coaching. Yeah, sort of. Team talk. Yeah, that'll be good. Big stick. Yeah. Oh, Big and he'll stick. take him out. Only well, take him out for dinner. And no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sure won't do that. Um, so, in your adopted uh, part of the world yeah. now, down in uh, Exmoor, there, bit of fog. Well, not a lot going for it just at the minute with the snakes and the fog, <laughs> but it is a fantastic area. I think we mentioned last time that I've, I've spent holidays down there. It is a gorgeous ground. I went to look at the ground and, and I've certainly been around the area. It, I think it's terrific. Club and league cricket like that, and it's a constant battle for finance all the time. Many factors give them 100 grand. That doesn't last forever, um, but it's a great gesture. Um, yeah, I'm sticking with Linton and Lynmouth. Yeah. They, they look oh. mighty. Well, what about the lads that are going four and a half hours? How would they like him on a bus for four and a well, half hours? Um, <laughs> I, I don't think he understands the concept of bus travel at this particular stage, but may, maybe we've got a spare helicopter or something you could lend him. <laughs> no, I boys, look at the glorious north sunshine. Two games, two wins. I, I did four and a half hours on, in a bus <laughs> in Sri Lanka with you.